I want to tell you about a story of the first time I got punched in the face. I was 16 years old, just had went through the OHL draft. When I did go to the Milton Ice Hawks training camp, we get an inter-squad games, and I remember I hit some player in the corner on the other team, and he challenged me. You know, when you play minor hockey, nobody really fights. I'm out there with my uh, birdcage on, and this guy goes, yeah, let's, let's go. You want to take a cheap shot at me? Let's go. And I remember my heart just pounding and racing. And I'd never really fought till that point. I was so scared, so I dropped my gloves. And before I could even think about what to do next, my helmet's off, and this guy's just suckering me right in the face. Just whack, right? Whack. I'm down on the ice, and I realized that nobody was going to ever give me anything. If that guy wouldn't have ripped my helmet off and punched me in the face and said, listen, you know, I don't care what your name is or where you were drafted or who you are or what people say about you, like, out here on the ice, you gotta earn every inch that you get. That's the way I approach everything in my life, is that I'm gonna earn it and nobody's gonna tell me that I can't have something or I can't get something. And I know I'm gonna take blows on the way, but I know that I can handle the blows. <laughs> This story is about me transitioning into Nashville. I remember I get traded, and I get a call from the team, and they're like, hey, we want you to come into Nashville. Before I get on the plane, I called one of my friends, his name's Jamie, and he goes, PK, just listen, go in there, just blend in. I'm like, Jamie, come on, dude. I'm seven years in the league, I know what I'm doing. The next day, I fly into Nashville, and it's scorching hot. It's like 107 degrees outside. I'm driving down the highway, I look up, there's a billboard on the side of the highway, it says, welcome, P.K. Subban, Nashville Predators. I'm like, this is cool, man. Like, Smashville's like embracing me, and I'm like, awesome. So we get downtown, and we get on the Broadway. We walk into Tootsie's, and the owner comes up and goes, hey, uh, Mr. Subban, it's great to me, and this is Tootsie's, and do you sing? And I go, yeah, I sing. I don't know why, even why I said that. I probably should have said, nah, I'm not a great singer at all, and I don't sing, but, you know me, I always gotta put a little spice on it. So, put the hat on, and next thing you know, I'm singing Johnny Cash on the stage at Tootsie's. The next day, like, we're on a conference call with, like, our whole team. Jamie comes on the conference call, and first thing he says, you know, I tell PK yesterday, PK, go into Nashville, just be low key, blend in. He's not even there for a half hour. What's the guy doing? singing on the stage at Tootsie's. And it's like, that's where I just realized that I just had to own it. I just can't help it. That's just the card I was dealt. <laughs>